Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Bingo Simmons, and this is a video that, you know, really explains what happened to me. So, like, why I haven't really been doing videos and blah, 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 because I usually do uh, my uh, weekday videos for a current event, where I, speak, where I choose one topic that really just shouts, pick me, and, you know, blab it to the YouTube people. And that's what I do. <laughs> really. And I posted on my main channel, The Glow Simmons. And really, uh, cause, it's because like, I have a very opinionated uh, voice when it comes to certain subjects. And I feel like I don't really use it a lot. So I feel like really this is my one way to really be more openly opinionated about like a lot of stuff that like, is being recorded. <laughs> and it's being posted to like a whole bunch of Million people who are actually watching it right now, but uh, I just want to go and host this question about me being sick because I've been sick since actually I haven't been sick since yesterday. I've been sick since last week. Uh, like the inside first, I was just this whole like pollution, not pollution, but like pollen. Excuse me, this is this whole pollen that really kind of affected me. And as if you watch my other videos, you'll see me really talking about it, about the pollen like affecting my eye right here, and it's kind of like swell about my eye, and then I don't know, just like the pollen really, oops, sorry, but just like the pollen is really affecting me kind of bad. But now, uh, last night I had like a major asthma attack, just because of the heat and the weather, and like my work was like kind of like more of a burden to me physically, because like. Some of the some workloads I cannot do unless the job offers me medical, and then you know I can afford my medication because I have asthma, and some of that medicine are, is really expensive, and you know right now I can't really afford it because the job isn't paid yet, and the job isn't offered medical because like it's they said that they're an independent company, but since we're, do, we are out there in the workplace, they should do offer medical just because like, things like this do happen, and you know it's just like. It just really sucks. Like right now, you know, it's one, one twenty-seven. I keep looking behind me. I don't know why. <coughs> it's one twenty-seven, and right now, you know, I'm sick. I'm sick. as like, I'll get out. Uh, as you can see, my voice, my pitch does change. And like, cause I start out talking normally, and then like after a while, I start talking like really deep. Cause like my, my uh neck is really sore and it's really raw because like, I was coughing for since like 3, 3 p.m. yesterday because like, that's when I started wheezing but like around 5 or 6 or 7 I started really having a that's what I was like I was at this guy's house and like, it was so hot in there you know I was just like I didn't really I feel the heat until later on in the day, it started getting hotter and hotter. And I, I was, of course, you know, I was doing my whole uh, job in the house. And, like, the whole, the whole loop, I don't know, I was just, like, sweating and just, like, I was like, what is going on? Like, this, is, this is ridiculous. And it just really just went off there. And, uh, I had to end the day early, and my crew had to take me back to the uh, workplace. And so my mom picked me up just because, like, by the time I got there, you know, I was not feeling good at all. I couldn't really stand up or nothing. I I couldn't I could I could barely see my eyes were blurry and I was just wheezing and like the one thing that really saved was like texting people or calling people. So I was trying to text my mom yeah, they didn't know how to really do anything for me, so I was texting my ex boyfriend and like he was really hey, I thought I was, I thought that'd be the last person to really help me out. Of course, I was praying too, but like I took my ex boyfriend. Like, like I wanted, I wanted to talk to him. Like me and him like a, me and him had like an on and off relationship. Just like uh, we get along when we want to get along, but we don't get along when we don't want to get along. And you know, he still he still loves me, but I don't love him because like I do I do somewhat want to be single without having to be so attached to my right hip, and it's gonna be kind of hard because like. He loves to be uh, around me all the time, and I, I don't want to be around him all the time at all. Like sometimes I want to be around myself. 
I saw she like randomly called me for no apparent reason, but you know, hey, that's part of the relationship process. So like he, I, someone told me, someone told me to really te- text him. And I kept like looking, I kept flipping up my phone, and you know, and uh, scrolling up his name because somehow, somehow I still have his name on my. I don't know why, I still have his name in my on my other phone. I don't know why. This is kind of weird. Ooh, so delete it. But uh. I'm glad it delayed it because like, someone told me don't delete it, you might need it. And I did need him, I needed him last night, I really did need him last night. And he knew, he knew my situation, I got my asthma, and he knows like, because like, he did, some, he did cause some of my major asthma attacks last, last year. So he knows how like, sensitive my asthma just really is. So like, I'm glad he kind of really, I feel like that he really cared for me in that moment. And he really took care of me, it was, it was really just time try to keep me awake, because I, if I wheeze and I fall asleep, you know, that could be my deathbed. So, he was talking to me, keeping me up, keeping me awake, and just really trying to make me feel better about myself. So, he really took a lot of focus, a lot of, a lot of energy off me, and, and I forgot to thank him. I should, thank, I should call or text him and say thank you, because I really forgot. And he kind of, like, asked me out, say, hey, yeah, I still love you. Do you love me? I call like, Oh, so I was like, no, I just want to be single at the moment, you know, like, I guess he kind of got pissed off, but, you know, he couldn't really, like, yell at me, thank God, because, like, I was still having, I was still having an Africa, even though I, I was at home, and I texted him, I'm home, and that's about it, and, like, he stopped talking to me, so it's kind of like, oopsie, you know, but, hey, if we ended up a bad dump, we ended up a bad dump, but at least, you know, he was there for me when I needed him, and, uh, I don't know, it's just like, I've been in a lot of pain, honestly, like, my soldier, my, I carry most of my weight on my soldier, um, so, so shoulders. I can say shoulders, hell, but shoulders when I have an asthma attack. So like my body was all tense, so it's just all like relaxing. My back is sore, my chest is sore, and like when I try to stand up, I'm, I'm wobbly, like a brand new baby deer, or baby animal that just like born. Like I'm really, really wobbly, so I'm not trying to really walk. But I don't know, it's just like kind of difficult. It kind of like makes me back cause, like I am still getting paid, but like I'm not making as much money as I should, or I I expect it. But like you know, I don't know. I don't think I'm really gonna like, keep job for much longer because like, I can't really do that if they don't offer me medical. Like I I actually have like, a I I have to have a job that offers me medical. So like if a job is offering me medical and I have an asthma attack, you know. I'm actually, I'm actually playing around with death, and you know, this time I, I, I was, I, I was on dead eyes, like I, I almost lost. So thank God I had like people who I thought that wouldn't be there for me, was there for me. So that really surprised me. It should be like, whenever that something really happens, and then and if I don't really, if I really, if I'm in that relationship. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, see? See, I'm doing it again. <coughs> <coughs> oh, yeah. <coughs> and I spit up mucus. Which, I think, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. And I have a fever. This is like a whole lot of things that are just popping up that I'm like remembering, but, you know. Hey. But, like, I guess it really shows me that people are, like, people who I thought weren't really going to be there for me really were there for me at the end. Really, when something happens that I really need people, that, you know, I usually know that, you know, somebody else will pop up that looks like, like, this is my best friend, whole wide world, but, like, complete straight, like, like, some of my co-workers, so I don't really know if that's there for me, really understand my situation, and, like, and my ex, and my parents helped me, so, like, uh, those were, like, the last two were, who I thought were going to go be there for me, so thank God. But really, I don't, I'm sorry this video is too long. I'm just kind of like out of it right now. And uh, I can't really count. I'm, I'm really counting how many, how many minutes are passing by, but really, I can't do it right now. So if it's too long, I'm so sorry. But, anyways, um, my name is Lessons, and I'll be. Adios. Peace.